Hey everyone, welcome back to Daily Devotions. Pastor Steve here walking with you in God's Word. Another day that the Lord has made, another opportunity He has given for us to rejoice and be glad in it. Yes, be glad in the day, but be in the glad in the day that God has created and has purpose and for bringing us again to His Word, to be able to hear truth, to be able to uh, hear victory, to be able to hear the stronghold of God in our lives. That's what we get in Psalm 52. We have a psalm here that is a perfect psalm. When you feel like you're being attacked, when you feel like things aren't going your way, when you feel like the evil one is trying to get his head in to be able to actually speak these words. David speaks these words, sings these words, Psalm 52. As it says in our superscription, it says, For the director of music, a maskil of David. When Doeg, the Edomite, had gone to Saul and told him, David has gone to the house of Ahimelech. Within that understanding, you get to see the understanding of Saul against David. And speaking of an enemy, um, David's going to sling some words of being able to see what Saul trusts in and also what the Edomites trust in. Uh, but he's going to remain faithful into trusting in God. That is his stronghold. That is his security. And so as you walk through Psalm 52, it surely is in context of what David's experienced, but the beautiful thing about God's Word is that it is still alive and active today, and these are words that we can use in and amongst denouncing and denunci- speaking denunciation, as it says here, to our enemy, and that is Satan himself. So use these words when you feel that attack, when you see that evil around you. It says this, Why do you boast of evil, you mighty man? Why do you boast all day long, you who are a disgrace in the eyes of God? Your tongue plots destruction. It is like a sharpened razor, you who practice deceit. You love evil rather than good, falsehood rather than speaking the truth. You love every harmful word, O you deceitful tongue. Surely God will bring you down to everlasting ruin. He will snatch you up and tear you from your tent. He will uproot you from the land of the living. The righteous will see and fear. They will laugh at him, saying, Here now is the man who did not make God his stronghold, but trusted in his great wealth, and grew strong by destroying others. But I am like an olive tree, flourishing in the house of God. Just a note real quickly there, olive trees are just known for their lifespan, thousands of years as they're seen here, strong trees, rooted trees, and as it says here, but I am an olive tree flourishing in the house of God, so planted, so secure, not in my wealth or my ways that I act or the platform that I have that Saul had, but rather I am flourishing in the house of God because I am planted in his truth. I am planted in his security in his provision, as he's saying here. For I trust, verse 8, but I am like an olive tree flourishing in the house of God. Uh, I trust in God's unfailing love forever and ever. I will praise you forever for what you have done. In your name I will hope, for your name is good. I will praise you in the presence of your saints. You get to see the dichotomy there of this psalm of being really to take of how he addresses and how he looks to, how he speaks to the evil one as he speaks to his enemy. But then as he speaks of God, now he speaks that he is surrounded by saints rather than things of this world or evil or wealth or whatever it may look like in Psalm 52 in David's eyes as well. He saw Saul and he saw him hold his wealth, hold his platform, um, hold his power and authority up over everyone just to keep them down. But not so with God. Jesus, being in the very nature of God, humbled himself and became one of us. Humbled himself into creation to be able to show the love of God. And that's where we get to see that I trust that. I will praise that. I will surround myself with God's unfailing love. I will denounce, I will aim at, I will accuse lies with truth. 
I will go after evil with the faithfulness and the goodness of God. Because I know that's my security. I know that's my provision. I know that truth is always going to remain. And so if you're being surrounded this day, or if you're being aimed at this day, or sometimes people would even say if you feel attacked this day, utter these words. <laughs> Denounce the, the, the evil around you and the attack that is there, for he is prowling around and he wants to devour, but he does not have the power over your God that you're planted in. The truth is this, God is for you. He's not against you. God is on your side. Make sure that we're not going on and sinning, but rather we're going on and repenting and walking in the forgiveness of sins, walking in the ways of the Lord and walking with our eyes set, knowing full well the victory is ours, rooted in God's doing and knowing that the evil will not flourish. It will not succeed. It will not go that next step. But the next step is with our God. We can be like olive trees, rooted, planted in the kingdom, in the truth, in the beauty of God's presence. That's where David stands and how beautiful that is. That's where we can stand. That's where all our ancestors before the people of faith have stood. And may, uh, may we be a witness and a testimony to the generations to come of where we stand. We stand in God's truth. We stand in his forgiveness. We stand in his faithfulness. Thanks be to God. Have a blessed day as you stand and know who stands right next to you. God Almighty. Have a blessed day.